What's going on, people? Welcome back to... Where are we? What are we doing? Project Breakdown. I, I, that was actually genuine. I genuinely just was like, hold on, what the fuck was I about to say? <laughs> Welcome back to Project Breakdown, the series where we break down a project, show you guys how much money I was paid to edit it, where you guys can get the job yourself, and, uh, you know, what went into obviously putting this project together. Today, we're not breaking down one particular project. I'm breaking down my predominant primary main income when I started freelancing. I was 18 years old and I uh, sort of after a couple months of freelancing, I noticed two trends. One that I needed to target long term recurring clients, people who could give me multiple videos a week, multiple videos a month, multiple projects, someone who when I made a relationship with them, I didn't just do one video and then go on my merry way and have to make another relationship and do another video. I wanted someone who when I get this relationship locked in, we work together for a long period of time. They give me many projects. They send me a lot of projects. I make a lot of money with that person. So long-term recurring clients are much more valuable than one-off, single one-off gigs, right? That's kind of obvious, okay? So the second thing I noticed was that YouTubers were the absolute perfect person, perfect client to target for this because of a couple things. One, their whole business, the way they make money revolves around making content and putting it out there, which means... They need someone to streamline and simplify the process of content creation, aka an editor who makes their job easier. They just make the content, they send it to you, you edit it all, they put it out, they make more money. And that leads me to number two, they make money from the channel. So it's very easy to justify an editor. Oh, I can take the money that's already coming in, I can give that to, to Jack or to you, and they're going to edit my video, they're going to help me make more money. Overall, simplifying and streamlining the process of the YouTube business, which is to make money from AdSense, revenue, sponsorships, whatever the case may be, um, and pump out high quality content, which is where you and me come in as the editors. So today I'm going to go ahead and break down um, very, I'm actually kind of doing a similar video to a, to a couple of those other videos. I've showed you this method in a couple of the videos, um, and it's very, very simple. First off, let's go ahead and jump on the screen. Um, one of the, uh, one of the channels that I used to edit for, which was one of my main clients, was a top 10 channel. And one of the other clients that I used to edit for non-stop, these are two of my main clients. I use these as examples here on the channel all the time. Um, I'll show you, I'll tell you the two, two channels, right? If you've watched any of the, uh, any of the other Project Breakdowns, you're familiar with these two names. But Insane Curiosity, a top 10 channel, this was one of my main clients, uh, who give me work every single week. They give me about four videos a week, something like that, about four videos minimum, paying about 60 bucks a video. Then I had uh, another one um, called uh, Biographics. This was a history channel. I was getting paid about $150 a video to edit videos for these guys. Uh, and they were giving me, again, about three videos a week, something like that, right? So boom, collectively, I have two clients, and I had other one-off gigs as well, but off two clients alone, I'm making well over two grand a month at 18 years old editing for YouTubers. Uh, and again, YouTubers are a holy grail client. They need lots of content to keep their business running, and they need someone to save them time. No one wants to, you know, with especially with this type of content, top 10 content, this type of content, you know, they're, they're, these are cash cow YouTube channels. They're pumping this content out to make money, right? They're not pumping this content out uh, to do any to do anything but make money. All right, so it means they want an editor, and it means you can come in and uh, and and make their life easier, essentially, right? So, if you wanted to get this type of job, there's two ways to do it. First, the easiest, go to YouTube, type uh, go to go to Upwork rather, type YouTube video editing, very very simple, uh, and go ahead and literally just scroll down the list of people advertising their position. Video editor, I try to upload daily, so I need consistency. Wait, great. They need a video editor, video editing post-production, looking for a long-term uh, editor for my YouTube channel, Cash Cow, Luxury Things, Lovely, uh, 30 videos a month, whatever the case may be. I need a videographer to make a video for my YouTube channel. I need a product manufacturing process video to be created, blah, 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 blah. Lovely. People, every day, you know, that's 28 minutes ago, right? 28 minutes ago, 1.25 for, for 30 videos. That's, I, I, we broke that down on a previous video, actually, because I'm batch recording a bunch of videos today. That, that's not the, the nicest, um, the nicest rate. Actually, I mean, to be honest, if you could bash it out relatively quickly, um, the videos are eight minutes. So that's about $41 a video. Uh, a video like that, depending, if you can get it done in like an hour, hour and a half, even two hours, actually, 20 bucks an hour, it's, 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 it's not the worst, uh, it's not the worst salary at all. So, to be honest, that, that's that's not a terrible client. You, you'd have multiple other clients on top of that as well. Um, but, there you go. 
it's very, very simple on Upwork because Upwork's a job board, right? They literally exist to post jobs from clients and you apply to that job. Very simple. Alternatively, you could do the uh, the email method, right? Um, the email method is very, very straightforward. I've, I've rinsed and repeated the email method. I, I tell my coaching clients when I do do coaching um, that the email method is a great method. It's more controllable. Um, but essentially, say you wanted to target a top 10 channel, right? Top 10 channel. Lovely. You type it in. Um, oh, I've just clicked on a random one. You go to filter. You go to channel. So you're just looking at all the channels and just find channels which you think would see your email people with, you know, for example, like 200,000 subs, 100,000 subs, 18,000 subs, whatever the case may be. Find them, go to their about um, and find their email. This guy is one of the, the weird ones who doesn't have an email. It's actually rare. It's very rare. So I'll find this one. Den top 10. View email. I'm not a robot. I'm personally not. My name's Jack. I'm definitely not a robot. Um, and I would like to take this client and make some money. Um, I'm not too sure why that's taking so long. Um, but we can go ahead and refresh the page. It, you, you get the point, right? Essentially, you get their email from this thing right here. And you send them an email. Um, you know, hey, I'm Jack. Saw your channel. Uh, you know, I, I'd love to edit your content. Um, put together a better message than that. <laughs> 100%. Uh, but you can message them. And sort of just a couple things that, that work uh, definitely is offering them some sort of little teaser, maybe some th so sort of little test. Uh, you know, you could offer them potentially a minute of edited content um, as a sample, or you could offer them um, even, I mean, potentially depending on the time you have or the demand uh, and how much you want to land clients, you could offer them a video for free. I've seen um, a great kid who I was uh, who I was working with in my coaching program, 15 years old, already making over two grand a month. Um, he would offer one video for free. That's what he would do. Hey, I'll offer one video for free. And they're like, oh, I want a video for free. He'd edit that video. He'd make the video phenomenal. So they're like, oh, this is actually great. Like, I, I want more of this. Um, and then he'd get the client, right? So depending on your uh, sort of tolerance for free work, that is a great way that I've seen working for a lot of people uh, where, you know, you, you offer some stuff for free. I would personally always do a little trial for people. If I really wanted a client, I'd be like, all right, cool. Let me do a minute of edited content for free. I'd make that minute just very impactful, very snappy, very nice, uh, very high quality. And they'd see that and be like, oh, I like that. I want that on my entire video. Cool. You get the client. So Obviously, there's a level of competition there. There's other people that will be trying to edit for these people. They might already have an editor, which means for you to take the position, you have to push someone out. That's why the YouTube method's a little bit more iffy because they might already have an editor. Whereas Upwork, you know for a fact they are looking for an editor. They don't have an editor. They need an editor. They're posting to try and find one. You can come in and snatch that up um, and, and, and go ahead and kill it, right? Need a video editor for my talking head video. 60 bucks a video. So very similar budget to, to what I had going on. Uh, one to two videos a week now um, and up to three to four if we start growing. Boom. So that's a long-term recurring client. That video, you know, that client alone can bring you at bare minimum 60 to $120 a week. Um, then when it goes on to be more, it could be 240 to, to $300 a week. Awesome. You know, at, at the peak right there, that client could be making you $1.2,000 a month. And then you have another two or three clients on top of that. And you've got a, a nice fat income from editing YouTube content, $2,000 a, uh, a month creating YouTube content on the internet. That right there is Project Breakdown, the channel, the channel, this whole channel is about various different editing based stuff, but the series where we break down projects, how much I got paid to make it, how, how you guys can get a, a job like that for yourself. And um, we're doing it big, not doing it small. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.